Good afternoon. Welcome to a 20 minute kind of power Pilates flow. So we're not going to waste any time. We're going to jump into it and remember to breathe. We're starting on our backs. Lower yourself down softly. Hug your knees into your chest. Let your lower back relax and round. A little shift side to side. Lower one foot at a time, right down to the floor. Let the knees coast a little side to side. Let your back relax, let your chest open. So as we go here, we're strengthening the core, right? We're working the large muscles of the legs and the hips, the back and the abdomen. Try to keep the upper body as open and relaxed as you can. No need to tense up there, it won't help. All right, bringing the legs into center. Let's place one leg at a time into this tabletop position. So ideally your knees are a little bit over your hips. So any amount that you send the legs away from your chest, your core has to work much harder. If you need to bring those knees a little closer in, that's okay too, all right? Relax your arms down by your sides. Let's turn the palms face up helping to relax the chest and the shoulders a little bit more. All right, let's extend the right leg up towards the ceiling. Flex the ankle. Relax and bring it back to table. Same thing on the left. Reach up, flex at the ankle, relax and lower down. Again, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in and table. Once more, left, flex the ankle, relax the ankle, and come back down. Good. Now, send that right leg up, flex that ankle, keeping the lower back, back glued to the mat. We're going to send that right leg out long, maybe reaching the heel almost to the floor, and then reverse. Bring it back up overhead and place it back in table. Same thing on the left. Reach, flex the ankle. Extend that leg out nice and long. Reach, reach, reach. Bring it back overhead and back to table. Again, lift up, flex and extend. Bring it up overhead and table. Left leg. Flex and extend. And lift up. One more time like that. Take a deep breath in. Big exhale, reach. Inhale, lift. Exhale, table. Last time, left. Flex and reach. Right back up overhead. Good, let's have the knees to the chest, relax and lift the lower back, lengthen out again. Little roll side to side. All right, coming back into that same position, adding one more piece to it. This time we're gonna be rolling the upper body up as that leg extends out in front of us. So starting with the right leg, send it up in the air, flex. As that heel starts to travel forward, the head floats up, the shoulders lift, fingers reach forward, and then reverse. Lower the head down, leg comes up, and return to table. Same thing on the left, reach, flex. Roll up the upper body, reach the fingers, and return. Right back to table. Again, reach and roll. And right back up. Back to table and reach. Keep your shoulders relaxed here. So lots of space between your ears and your shoulders. And back up. Let's do one more on each side. 
reach long, flex and extend, relax down, and table. Last time on the left, reach, flex and extend that leg long, coming back up, and table, hug both knees into your chest, extend the lower back, rock it out side to side. Good, lowering one foot at a time, right down to the mat. Rock the knees softly side to side. Release any tension that's built up in the core. So remember, stretching everything out is just as important as building that tightness and contraction. You want your tissues to go both directions. All right, going into some bridging. Feet are in line with the hips. Shoulders relax away from the ears. Let's go back to that palm up position. Arms relaxed by your sides. Floating the hips up. And we're gonna hang out and just get our bridge kind of floating lightly. It's okay if your hips are a little bit lower down, but what we're going for is a nice relaxed neck, shoulders, and think of just a floating long line all the way down towards your knees here. Take a deep breath in, and a long breath out. One more time, breathe in, breathe out. Good, now we're gonna start to lower the hips slowly, almost all the way down to the floor, and then reverse and float the hips right back up where they came from. So keeping that same ease at your upper body, your arms, this is just a slow flow up and down with your bridge. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift. Exhale. Inhale. One more like this. Lower smoothly. And lift. All right, walking the feet a little bit closer together. So feet a little bit closer than your hip width apart now. We're gonna go for one-legged slow bridges just like we did. So shift your weight onto your left foot, freeing up your right foot. Going into that nice lift with a flexed ankle. Here we go, keeping the hips nice and level, lowering the hips towards the floor again. And then reversing and sending them up. Try to get a nice slow flow, same speed throughout. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, two more. Last one up, lower that right foot to the floor. Keep that bridge in place. Take a moment to check out. Ease at the top of the body. Relax the arms, relax the feet, easy toes. And same thing on the other side, shifting your weight onto that right foot. Floating the left foot up towards the ceiling, flex that ankle and slowly lowering the hips, any amount down towards the floor. Reverse, lift up, down, up, down, up, two more, exhale, inhale, Exhale, inhale, good, lower that left foot one more time, checking out your floating bridge here, nice long line from your knees all the way up to 
to your shoulders. Shoulders are relaxed away from the ears. Arms easy and soft. Two big breaths here. Big exhale. One more time, inhale. And then on the exhale, slowly coast those hips down to the floor, one at a time, cruising the knees into the chest. Let that lower back lengthen out, rock it side to side. here. We're going to keep that left knee in towards the chest. The um, hands, let's just keep the hands loosely in front. We're going to roll the head and the shoulders up. So we're in this 100 position here with the upper body and the legs. We're going to send the right leg out long and then bring it back in as the left leg goes out and in. Reach and reach. Reach and reach. Easy at your neck here. So there's space between your chest and your chin. Shoulders are relaxed down away from your ears. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and out. Two more sets like that. Breathe in and out. Nice. One last time, hug the knees into the chest. Release the lower back, a little sway side to side. Relax the feet down, rolling onto our bellies for the last couple of exercises here. All right, arms reaching out in front. Head is lifted just off the floor here. Lengthen the back of the neck nice and long. We're gonna do a little light swimming, starting with just the leg. So lifting one leg up off the floor, the belly is contracted and supporting your lower back. So think of that lower back as staying nice and long and not contracted and short. Long lower back. And then the other leg comes up. Good. Back and forth. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and out. Good. Relax the legs. Now we're just going to reach the arms in the same way. So you're going to reach the right fingertips forward and up off the floor. And then the left finger is forward and up off the floor. Loading back and forth. Think of that reach as lengthening your body. You're not trying to get it up in the air high. You're trying to lengthen out in front of you. All right. Relax for a second, turn your head to one side, let the body roll into the floor, maybe a little shift of the hips side to side. Let everything go loose for a second. And now we're gonna put together the legs and the arms that we just practiced. So we'll go into a full swim. If it doesn't feel good, go back to one of the earlier versions and just do the legs or just do the arms. All right, okay, head. Back in neutral, lifted just up off the floor. 
Face is turned down towards the floor, long back of the neck here. Here we go, opposite arm working with opposite leg. I'm gonna start this out slow, back and forth, and then I'm gonna speed it up. And if you hold the arms and legs, you can go into a fast swim back and forth. Breathing in for five, and out for five. Breathe in, and out. Breathe in, and out. Two more sets, breathe in, and out. Last time, in, and out. And turn your head to one side, melt into the floor, open your legs a little bit apart, a little shift of the hips. Good, bringing the hands underneath the chest, Let's push up to hands and knees and just stretch out with a very gentle down dog. So tucking the toes underneath and back. Take a deep breath in, float the hips up, sink the hips back towards the feet and the ankles and just roll around here. Relax the ankles, the knees. Maybe float the hips side to side. Relax the neck. Good. Keeping a little side to side sway, let's start to walk the hands back towards the feet. One little step at a time with the hands. And then hang forward, drop the head, relax the shoulders. You can keep a nice big bend in the knees here. From the core, start to roll up slowly towards your stand. Your head's gonna be the last thing to come up. Take a deep breath in, reach the arms up high. And fold forward over the legs. Good, walking the hands right back out where they came from. Keep walking forward towards a nice high plank. Drop the knees down. Ease the hips a little bit forward and relax. Maybe a little sway side to side. And then send the hips back all the way into your child's pose. And rest and breathe. And that's it. I kept it exactly within 20 minutes. Hooray! Yay. So thanks for joining, that was really fun. I love fast 20 minute workouts. Come back anytime. We'll probably keep this class on Thursdays at this three o'clock time. So see you next week, have fun.